Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Land Plays Lonely Mountains Downhill. Basically, I've, I've been racking my brain. I finished Dicey um, last week, and I've been thinking about what to play, and I got, some, I got some stuff in the cooker. I got some collaborations coming, but there's going to be a few days gap. So I thought to myself, you know what, why not play a little bit of Lonely Mountains Downhill, a game I've been playing a little bit myself on, uh, on Twitch. It's not gonna consider this like an extended let's look at sort of thing. We're gonna do three videos probably um, of what is a game that is a little bit like I would consider this a little bit like um, getting over it, but substantially easier. I think is a great way to think about it. It's a mountain biking simulator. Um, and you can see the trails on our mountain here, where you just, you want to make it down to the bottom. It's a little bit like trials, but you, you want to do it with some specific requirements as well. Like, for example, if we're able to do this trail in 2 minutes, 30 seconds or less, we're able to unlock a new trail. So it's, uh, it's actually a really, really good time so far. I, uh, it, it might be a little deceptive. You might look at this and right out of the gate assume that, you know, because of the cartoony, voxel-based graphics, that maybe it's a little bit of a, uh, you know, it's a game for kids, I assure you. Not a game for kids. Well, I mean, it's a game that's fun for the whole family, but it's not a low-octane experience. You could take it, oh, for example. <laughs> You can take it slow and meditative, or you, alternatively, you can eat yourself off the cliff like so. Um, kind of see it like a, a little bit like a, an isometric descenders. Now, oh, dude, if we stuck the landing, though, that would have been incredible. And on top of this, you know, you, you do kind of make your own path down the mountain. Reminds me a little bit of, uh, I mean, obviously, there's pads that, that work better than others. Let's put it that way. But reminds me a little bit of... Uh, like SSX3 from way back in the day. You know, it's you, you don't really know what's coming, but you get a little free-flowing sense of uh, adventure. So I'll give you the the basics here. This is available. <laughs> it's available on um, Steam, but I believe it's also available on Game Pass. I've heard some some scuttlebutt on Twitter. People saying that uh, it is available on the Game Pass, uh, which means, you know, I'm not trying to sell out the developers on this one, but, you know, you, you could probably get it even cheaper. Whoop. Try the shortcut, please. Thank you. Even cheaper, potentially. I'm an idiot. <laughs> than the standalone purchase price, which is how I picked it up. Um, in that sense. But I, just to be honest with you, I don't really know how that sort of song and dance works. But I always liked, uh, you know, these free-flowing, uh, kind of extreme sports games. Oh, that one I take issue with. Like, uh, another good example is Ollie Ollie. I really like Ollie Ollie. And Ollie Ollie too, for that matter. Back when, uh, I actually, you know, uh, excuse me, sir. Back when I actually used my Vita, that was like, that was one of my go-to games. And I gotta say, my leaderboard positions in that, much better than my leaderboard position in this. What do we have to, so we have to do this in under two and a half minutes. Luckily, it only takes your, uh, your best time. Like, it takes your splits. So the fact that we're, you know, crashing many times here, for this particular, uh, challenge is not that relevant. That's another thing I like about it, is it has a little bit of dynamic difficulty going on. So we played this on, uh, for an hour on Thursday stream, which made for a very nice contrast, because following that hour, we played some Ring Fit Adventure, which is a much more, uh, high-octane, exhausting situation. Don't hit the tree. Pedal, brother. I got some little goals, by the way. If we could unlock, like... A few more trails and one more mountain, I would be a very, very happy man. And I would consider myself to have seen a lot of this game, actually. This really, this strikes me as like the perfect, oh, that hurt. As a perfect, I should say, you know, like one session game. 
the kind of game you see a little bit of on the channel. And you go, hey, maybe I'll pick that up myself. I got some time this Saturday. Play it for a little bit on Saturday. Master it. Recommend it to everybody. And then, uh, may or may not ever pick it up again, but it was still worth it. I heard this was at PAX, actually, and I'm remiss to have missed it. Okay, a little focus. You might be no noticing I am not the greatest player of the game. I will say, in my own defense, it's a little harder than it looks, okay? So, like, I'm using the controller, as you might expect. And, uh... Right trigger... Right trigger is pedal, but A is also sprint. And I think for getting like the time trials going here, managing that sprint is gonna be very relevant. You can also break, but much like in Mario Kart, if you break in this game, you're a coward. And it's just that simple. That's uh, absolutely false and I do not stand by it at all. I immediately um, rescind and retract my support for what I just said. Sometimes breaking is necessary. Also very useful. If you want to throw in a little skirt. He's done it? I for sure thought we were dead as heck. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about like how I feel about the game. Because it's, you know, it's kind of one of those show but don't tell sort of things. The fact that I'm playing it should indicate to you that I'm a, a reasonably big fan of it to begin with. But uh, just like kind of one of those games, and it's one of my favorite like subgenres of game. And it's not even about its mechanics, it's about its like media presence. But one of those games that sort of came out of nowhere and took me by surprise. You know, it, it's not that ambitious, but still very good at what it wants to do. So we're in 1007th there. Seems pretty good to me. And despite my terrible performance, we did unlock <laughs> a new trail. Okay. So the first time you go through a trail, all you got to do is cross the finish line. After that, you can do other challenges. And those challenges allow you to get, like, uh, bike parts, uh, which you can get new bikes. I'm assuming some of these bikes will allow you to maybe have a little bit more uh, stability. <laughs> so if you go off in a situation like that, you're not uh, totally screwed. But yeah, you know, I've, I've got some stuff in the cooker. Uh, for when this is now a video where I'm talking about the future direction of where we're going. Um, now that Dicey is uh, is complete, and I do want to say it is complete. Let's try this path. I know. Yikes! Yeah, oh, we've done it. Okay, we're dead. I know that there's like a hard mode. I'm just I'm done with the game. And that's not meant to be like an insult to Dicey. It's just, it's time. We did our part uh, with Dicey. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I've considered that game good, for sure. And I'm very pleased to have uh, finished it, even if we did require the patch. There were a lot of times, goodbye, where it seemed like we would not finish it. But uh, I, I want to, I'm thinking like, Bear and I are trying to get together, do a little bit of Super Animal Royale, maybe with some... Okay, that'll work. Some other people as well. Get that going for like a little bit of a week, but you know, or a week or so, I should say. But earlier uh, this year, I said, you know, I want to get one of my 2019 resolutions occupationally, was to get some more variety on the channel. And we have, but we also, we've hit a little bit, I don't want to call it a lull. But we, we hit a little bit of a static period because we ended up playing Dicey for, like, more than two months. Um, and also Tetris, but Tetris isn't going anywhere because it's the greatest game that's ever uh, been made for the Nintendo Switch. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking about hopefully keeping that spot for now a little bit more flexible. So I, I'm hoping we'll get maybe, like, five days to a week of some Super Animal Royale videos, and who knows, you know, leaving it open to check out some new stuff that might come out. So do feel free to hit me up with your suggestions. Um, I will, do oh my god, this is a tough one. Okay, you know what? Good time to use the brake. 
I will tell you the game everybody is suggesting is uh, Noida. I still... I don't... I don't get it. Just be cool here. It's not that I think Noida is bad. It's more like... I wish I derived as much pleasure from playing it as so many other people seem to. Because it's kind of a no-brainer fit, right? But at the same time... Game where, you know, it's oh, this year's uh, hottest roguelite where you can be Harry Potter and come up with magical spells on the fly. Stay away from weird goblins and, you know, who knows what the world might have in store for you. I sleep. I wish I didn't. But I sleep a little. Game where you drive a bike down a mountainside? Real stuff. I wake. <laughs> so that's what we're thinking about right now. Just keeping it a little flexible. And ideally, you know, offering up some more spots for collaborations. And you know, they, you might be like, why aren't you talking about the game? Well, first off, I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm a cool YouTuber. I talk about the, the game briefly, and then I use the game as an opportunity to talk about uh, other stuff uh, and, and banter. But, uh, hold on. Hold on. I want to try. I am a fool. I am a, I am a fool. I thought I was a genius, but I am a fool. I want to see what's going on down here. Maybe we can... You could have stuck that one. Hey, man, I've been... Biking on the seawall. Sometimes some wannabe Lance Armstrong cuts you off. You can't just give up that easy. You know, you gotta stick the landing. He's done it. Um, yeah, it's hard. Uh, and again, I want to be clear. Everybody's got their own stuff going on. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus, but it's, it's hard to get uh, collaborations going. Man, this trail is tight. As compared to, you know, the early ones. Um, or even the last one you saw. You know, it's tight. Uh, or whatever, what was I going to say? Everybody's got their own uh, stuff going on. Not that many people are doing uh, YouTube stuff specifically anymore. Used to, you know, back in like 2015, you'd be like, hey guys, this cool new multiplayer game came out. You guys want to get together and play it on YouTube? And everybody was like, heck yeah. Nowadays, all the cool kids are streaming. Only a few people left do a YouTube stuff. In in our circle, at least. And when I, you know, I don't want to be imposing. You know, I don't want to be like, hey, you guys want to get together and play this on YouTube? I know you haven't, you know, actually posted a video on your channel in forever. And, you know, essentially for you, this will be a donation of your time. But, you know, so you guys got to be the right thing. But when it works, oh, it works. And it's beautiful. Plus, on a selfish level, collaborations are great because I get to rest my voice. <laughs> Especially if they're shouting at Tetris and uh, Isaac and now mountain biking on a daily basis. Oh, it's so idyllic down here now. Um, it's a nice uh, change of pace. I gotta tell you, dude, this game is like, is the antidote's to what I got going on in my life right now. We've been moving, it's stressful, it's physically uh, exhausting. This must be the end. This game, what it turns out, pretending to physically exhaust yourself, very relaxing. Well, it's very strange. All right, oh. <laughs> oh, do I have to cross? Okay. My mistake. That is a great. Fall. No, please um, quit the menu. Um, now we can do some challenges on this level. So we had our nice uh, relaxing run, and that's cool, but let's see what we got. Beginner. 215 or less. Unlock bike part. 19 crashes or fewer. Look, th these guys, they have an incredible grasp of English grammar. Why is it 215 or less and 19 crashes or fewer? You know, I, I don't understand the less or fewer um, dynamic. I also, uh, I don't really care, because I think that having perfect grammar... Oh, no. That would have been sick, though. 
having perfect grammar is the sort of thing that, you know, doesn't necessarily appeal to me because I'm not trying to impress my third grade teacher anymore. She's been dead since probably like the year 2002. God rest her, you know? Let her sleep. Don't, don't bother her with these inane questions about, well, is it less or fewer, you know? But I, I do appreciate that they have it sorted out. You know, I, I've never talked about this. I, I admire those who do like mountain bike. I'm not a thrill seeker at all, and I recognize that this is perhaps a little bit of a, uh, you know, a distortion of the, the actual danger involved in real mountain biking, but like, this seems very scary. How do you do, like, you know, sometimes Kate and I, you know, once or twice a winter we'll go up to Whistler here in British Columbia and, and ski and snowboard. And I, I always hear that in, like, the spring and summertime, the trails, or hills, I should say, become mountain biking hills. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm a, a pretty, I mean, I'm not an avid cyclist anymore, but I'm a relatively strong cyclist. I can't even imagine, like, getting on a, a hill that has, like, a 40 degree drop or something like that with moguls on it and being like, yeah, let's do it. How do you, how do you do that? I don't even, I won't even say why do you do that, because I get it, even though I don't get it, I, I understand it. It's like, you know, adrenaline junkie, right? But like, oh, I forgot about this part. <laughs> no! <laughs> but like, how do you, how do you get started on that? Does it just happen by accident? You find yourself on a hill that's a little bit too uh, steep. You get to the bottom and you go, ooh, that was fun. Because I've had those situations uh, when I was younger. Only I never really felt like, ooh, that was fun. I was like, oh my god. Race back to the farm to be with my uncle by the fireside. Astute viewers will note that's the end of the song Red Barchetta by Rush. But also dare I suggest, words to live by. Hey man, sometimes, you know, you're biking along on the path of life. You end up taking a, a bit of a bizarre path. Hey, maybe it's a harder path, but if you've got momentum going in that direction, it could be easier to take the harder path you're already making progress on. As opposed to taking a different path. That was so dumb. We had it in the bag. As opposed to taking a different path that, you know, looks easier on the outside. Why, again, the same thing. But, uh, you know, you gotta start moving in a brand new direction there, you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you. We're gonna make it. Just watch out for the trees. You got two minutes, 15 seconds. I'm like, dude, we're here, right? This is the end? This is the end. We had to do it in under 215 with under 19 crashes. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. We're 546 now. That seems pretty good. Also, very healthy uh, player base. So, hold on. What did we, did we unlock? A, we unlocked a new trail. All right. So, I'll do Explorer level on the new trail as well. The Raven's Edge. Cross the finish line is our only goal. What do you think, Ruka? Just any sport. I, I I got a lot of material about skiing. If you want to talk about skiing, I used to be a, a pretty okay skier when I was a child. I honestly think that at a casual level, skiing is one of those sports that's just easy to do uh, when you're a kid. And I was trying to think about why, and I thought back to like you know my high school physics classes. I was like, okay, when you're a kid, you're much lighter. And you know, your acceleration as you ski is like a product of, of your mass times, you know, gravity as applied to the the degree of the slope you're actually on, right? Something along, it's proportional to that at least. So I was like, no wonder, you know? As a, uh, you know, a 90 pound child, you know, I think you feel 
you got a little bit more control over yourself in that situation. You know, the, the rampant, like, unstable acceleration doesn't get to the same point as it does when you're, like, a 190-pound adult who tore his meniscus in uh, 2014 and, and never had proper physiotherapy for it, so most of the time is fine, but occasionally, every now and then, it gets a little bit touchy. I gotta tell you, though, this winter... I'm gonna snowboard instead of ski. I don't know if it... I think it's a... Big feet problem. I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat. You know, I, particularly, I know, like, if you're from parts of Europe, y'all ski all the time. Every time I've skied as an adult, by the end of the first day, my feet are in so much pain from the ski boot that I, like... I can continue, but it's extremely uncomfortable. And then, you know, one day, Kate was like, well, why don't you just learn how to snowboard? The snowboard boot is like, it's as soft as a, as a cashmere slipper. Instead of being the weird, like, RoboCop boots you gotta wear when you ski. I'm like, you know what? I think you might be right. So we'll see. Wait, look forward this January to my snowboarding anecdotes where I'm like, I thought this would be easy, but my hips hurt a lot. I'm also, like, I... So I'm, uh... If you're watching this, you have no idea who I am or you don't watch a lot of my content. You might not be aware of the fact that I talk about my age constantly. I'm 30 years old. Not old. But definitely getting to the point... Or, you know, you're, you're closing in on not being young, right? And I remember, like, as a teenager, when my dad was in his early 40s, he would complain about his hips all the time. I have, like, no hip pain, but both of my parents are like, just wait for it, it runs in the family. And I'm like, dude, nothing runs in our family. <laughs> just kidding, it, it, my parents are actually in much better shape than I am. Um, but regardless, they, they don't run, but it's because of the hip pain. They prefer to use the elliptical or perhaps an exercise bike. They go for walks and stuff like that, but you guys have that? You, you got any, like, ticking time bombs, genetically speaking? You're just waiting for them to go off? Obviously, baldness already went off for me. <laughs> it's weird not knowing when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen. Um, how do we do here? The leaderboards have been a little wonky today, I do want to say. There's been some connection issues. Like, I... Yeah, see, there you go. Anyway, we're going to try some new trails uh, after this. That was a pretty good uh, episode here. If you enjoy the uh, what you're seeing so far, click the like button. helps out a great deal. And, of course, go peep uh, the game itself. It's on Steam. I'll put the Steam link in the video description below. But you can also check it out, I believe, on Game Pass. If that's more your uh, scene. I'll be back with another couple of episodes just to fill some space and highlight a really fun game. For now though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya!